crime marches on. And throughout Britain, understaffed police forces have a tougher job. Every day in the London area alone, more than a dozen cars, many of them left by careless owners, are stolen. And when a man steals a car, it's usually to help him commit another crime. To the owner, of course, what matters is his car. He has only to dial 999 and pass the worry on to Scotland Yard. And the Yard's worry is to get that car back before more violence is done. That stolen car may be used for a pay grab. Thugs get to know when a man goes to collect the firm's payroll from the bank. After weeks of keeping watch, they suddenly pounce. But the crooks don't always have it their own way. Not, for instance, with this sort of bag. They won't get far with this loot. They'll be blinded and choked before they've traveled more than a few yards. And even if they get the car away, they'll have to leave the bag. Here's another way of making life hard for the grabbers. This bag not only scatters the money around so that nobody can pick it up in a hurry, it also sprays it with indelible dye. Banks are apt to ask awkward questions if you try to change purple pound notes. This is no easy snatch either. Just listen to this girl's bag. With fewer policemen on the beat today, there are firms which help to defeat lawbreakers by providing security guards. Here in the control room of one of the firms, operations are directed with almost military precision. This guard spends his nights in the Chamber of Horrors, watching against burglars and fire. When he comes on duty, the guard's first job is to ring the control room and then stand by until they ring him back to make sure he's where he says he is. Sergeant Richards, 651, Madam Tussauds, routine call. Madam Tussauds, good evening, Mr. Richards, and uh, we'll come straight back with a line check for you. Just hold on. At regular intervals through the night, each of the 600 uniformed men employed by this firm has to ring in and give his code number and the password. Hello, Madam Tussauds? OK, that's your line check. And the word tonight is Humber. Thank you. If he doesn't ring to time, the alarm is sounded. One of the firm's inspectors will chase to the spot and a police squad car will be on the way too. When night falls in London, the need for vigilance increases and behind closed doors, men are on the watch. Art treasures are the target of skillful, highly organized international gangs. At the Royal Academy, guards keep an eye on fire risks too. Theft, sabotage, arson. These are daily possibilities in places where aircraft, often destined to carry very important people, are housed and serviced. So at London Airport, a special watch is kept on the hangars. These guards work closely with the airport police, making continual checks all round the clock. Five million pounds worth of diamonds on public display in London, and security guards were there. The famous Cullinan diamond, pocketable and beyond price, was under ceaseless watch. So was this tiara, which used to belong to Queen Alexandra. In the docks and warehouses, pilferers cost the nation thousands of pounds a year.
That is why at this wharf, there is the added precaution of security guards who patrol the miles of crates all through the night. In the West End of London are some of the most ingenious crooks in the world, lured by some of the most glittering prizes. To match their cunning, the forces of law and order are continually devising new weapons. The watchman in this Bond Street store, armed only with a truncheon, may look no match for an armed bandit. But watch that switch. It operates radio waves that set off the shop's alarm system. Modern science is making life harder for lawbreakers of every description. That dome on the left sends out sound waves that cannot be heard. But if anyone interrupted them, they'd send out a signal. This projector puts out invisible rays that do the same thing if anyone crosses them. The noises you heard were caused by gadgets reacting to our cameraman. But a burglar wouldn't hear them. A local police station might on a direct line, or this might happen. Watch carefully here. Recognize that number? 999? When the call goes through, this is what they'll hear Police, at the other end. Scotland Yard. Police, Scotland Yard. This is an automatic telephone alarm calling Scotland Yard. Burglars have entered the premises of Day Smith and Son, 26 Westbourne. Now let's get back to that stolen car. This was how the police found it. One of the 80 odd cars stolen each week around London. The car owner was relieved to get his car back and took steps to stop the same thing happening again. Let's see what might have happened if he'd taken a little trouble sooner. Yes, there have been calls for alarm. 